Henry Tanner is looking at the dignity of the working class. Now, he's going to be a student contemporary of Aikens. They both go to the Philadelphia Academy of Art at the same time. But whereas Aikens will focus on realism and science, Tanner looks at the working class and he wants to depict them with an air of dignity, a very realist idea. The idea basically being that, well, similar to third class carriage, these people are individuals and we need to treat them as such. We need to look at them as such. So we're going to look at his painting, The Thankful Poor. In the painting, we see a grandfather and grandchild apparently saying grace prior to a meal. The lighting is coming in in a very diffuse manner from the left. Everything that isn't the grandfather, grandchild, and table is depicted with very loose, simple brushwork. Look at the wall in the background, for example. But there's a certain focus, and that's what I want to look at. Here we see the working class doing something every day, saying grace, something that would have happened three times a day at the time. It would have been a very common experience. But they're doing it in this very simple background. There's nothing there that gives us an air of wealth or luxury or anything else. But yet they seem to have a respect and dignity about them. The lighting gives us a sense of the spiritual. And the food before them, almost a sense of the last judgment. It becomes a very powerful image because he's depicting people who are not generally depicted, even today. We are seeing African Americans depicted in art. Something that even today, artists like Kahindi Wiley are still fighting to do. Fighting to see certain groups brought into the galleries, not just as the subject matter of the painting, but as the viewer. And so he brings dignity to them by bringing viewership to them by drawing our attention to their lives, to their very existence. Now, later on, Tanner will move towards more biblical scenes, focusing again on the sense of dignity, but also taking inspiration from Rembrandt and others, creating very simple compositions of great biblical narratives.